So I took a chain, wrapped it around my legs. They were hairier than my other legs. No, not my, my, black kids would touch them. Come on, man. Then I got on a train and moved to DC. Jirak Jabrama gave a job to me. I shuffled around and sucked fingertips. Made a big speech, kissed a boy on the lips. What are you looking at? I wrote the damn bill. I hold the ladies tight and sniff all their hairs. First person American to fall up the stairs. Ran for president, I was a winner. Winner was me. Now I sit at my desk as a president Prendeep. But not, not pre, but you know the thing. Come on, get your face out of your ears. Please put some underpants on first, sir. There's no time. America's in crisis. Thousands of Mexican melts are overwhelming our southern border. Some as young as I know. The BLT movement is in the, still in the streets, protesting the murder of Pink Floyd. And now hey, I'm all for the BLT movement, and some would say those words are a lot more coherent than the current president of the United States. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. This is Luke Radowski of WeAreChange.org. Lots of news to get into today, especially surrounding American foreign policy, which is in an absolute tailspin after the latest devastating but deliberate moves that the U.S. military just committed in Afghanistan that should have you wondering, what in the world are they doing? Seriously, lots of important news. We're going to be going over that, plus a lot more. But before we do, the clip that we played in the beginning of this broadcast is from a new seven-minute video from Kyle Dunningan, who absolutely deserves a lot more subscribers than he has right now. His series about the fresh prez of DC is absolutely brilliant, and I hope more people go and watch it. Watch it after this video. The link is down in the description below. And I have to say, Kyle does a great job highlighting the absolute absurdity of our current political state as the most popular president in American history that has received more votes than any other president in recorded American history literally just had <laughs> 10,000 people tune in into his nation's ad address. Most people disliked it as, of course, Biden was barking out orders actually somewhat coherently, which was uh, somewhat of a surprise. Now, as Biden continues to virtue signal the latest woke SJW contrived talking points, the rest of America isn't doing that well, especially in major city areas that are becoming more and more plagued with violence as we get more Stunning video, this video coming out of San Francisco, highlighting yet another brazen theft in broad daylight, which police officers have decided that by and large they won't be responding to. In Biden's America, horses aren't even safe, as New York City's Central Park saw a very violent scene unfold as a man decided to pick a fight with a horse and started to randomly punch and kick it. One example of, of the many examples of absolute bedlam and insanity engulfing New York City. This while we get reports from Los Angeles where a woman who says that she complained about a man exposing his private junk to a six-year-old child was told by police officers that it was her fault and blamed her for the incident, rather than, of course, going after the dude who showed his dong to a child. But don't worry, as all of that happens, the Federal Bureau of Investigations, an unaccountable, extremely powerful Federal Bureau, just announced that they had a flurry of, quote, arrests surrounding the Capitol January 6th events that unfolded. All of this as Biden announced that he wants the government to go door to door to make sure that everyone gets a medical procedure that, of course, we cannot talk about on this platform. We can talk about it on LukeUncensored.com, your great go-to area with the most amount of unfiltered speech, data, evidence, and information that is too hot to handle on this platform. We talk about a lot of very important issues in this secret society. Some have called it a cult, whatever you may call it. We get into a lot of very important issues, LukeUncensored.com. And if you want exclusive content, this is one of the few places online where you could still get it. Also, by the way, we're going to be launching some new t-shirts later on today. We have been doing very well with our new Trust the Science shirt. The Regulate Your Government, Not Your Neighbors is one of my favorites. And of course, so is the one that I'm wearing right now that says the people in power may change 
but the war machine stays the same, and that's absolutely true, as we're going to be mainly discussing right now in this video with all the bombshell revelations that have just unfolded in Afghanistan, which sincerely deserves a lot more attention than it's getting right now, since there's going to be some severe consequences because of this, quote, alleged blunder that has happened, specifically at the Bagram Air Force Base, which we're going accounts, videos, and photos from showing how it was just ransacked as the United States is wounding down its quote forever war and the events that happen here may keep it a forever war since we're hearing that Afghanis and some Taliban members are essentially walking off with all the loot left behind by the U.S. military that has spent an absolutely ridiculous amount of money creating this airfield which has existed for over 20 years as what is being described as a quote escape in the middle of the night since the United States military that was previously stationed at this Air Force base decided to shut off the electricity and slip away in the middle of the night without even notifying the Afghanistan government and the Afghani command that was supposed to take over the base when the United States left. This, of course, led the base to being looted immediately as the base was left unsecured without even anyone being notified of this, which, of course, led to some theft of the property there. And that, of course, is not the most perplexing move in Afghanistan right now, as there is new video coming out showing Afghan troops literally being filmed on video laying down and giving Taliban forces US-made weapons and handing over keys to armored Humvees as if they were freaking Oprah giving prizes to the viewers of her show. And now there's a bunch of Wahhabist jihadis that are armed to the teeth with the latest and greatest U.S. military hardware that was supposed to be given to the Afghani forces, who now large swaps of have either surrendered or are working with the Taliban. U.S. military general Austin Scott Miller said that he is shocked at how quickly this has happened, and he says, quote, I don't like leaving friends in need. Friends? Friends? So, so the guys who arm the Taliban are... This general's friend? If those are your friends, you should really closely reevaluate what you're doing in life. Since the United States military once again is directly responsible for equipping and arming dangerous radical groups in the Middle East who wouldn't be as powerful if it wasn't for direct U.S. intervention. Some Afghani troops saw this situation unfold and decided to escape to neighboring Tajikistan. There's been so far over a thousand former Afghani troops that have done this. That number is definitely going to be growing from here. And in the mainstream media, we're going to be hearing about this as an accident, a, a blunder that the U.S. military high command with its artificial intelligence and the latest and greatest technology never saw this coming in any way, shape, or form. And I call absolute bullcrap. It, it didn't take a genius to figure out what was going to happen here. The U.S. government has been lying to us about the war in Afghanistan ever since its beginning. We know that from the Afghanistan papers that released how many in high command in the U.S. military had absolutely no reason to understand what they were doing in Afghanistan. This was, by and large, a huge transfer of wealth from the American public to the military-industrial complex. Afghanistan has nothing to show for the trillions of dollars invested into it. A lot of multinational corporations, a lot of big companies, a part of the military-industrial complex, have robbed us blind. Intelligence agencies were a part of helping and protecting the production of the world's opium production. And now those same slithering, lying scumbags that put our troops in danger, that prematurely ended almost a quarter million lives for this endeavor are telling us we still need to continue this as it almost looks like they are deliberately trying to make this the biggest conundrum that they could make in some kind of sick way in order to justify their presence in that country. This is essentially what's happening here. And we also have to remember, this is not the first time that U.S. military hardware 
accidentally fell into the hands of radical Islamist groups. Again, the United States long history, even, even since the 70s, with Zbigniew Brzezinski financing the Afghanis to fight the Russians, financing the Taliban, financing Osama bin Laden. And even just a few years ago, specifically six years ago, where radical Islamists in Syria, specifically ISIS, that were working towards the same geopolitical goal as American, Israeli, and Saudi Arabian policy were somehow able to capture 2,300 Humvees from the U.S. military in Iraq with all the basic protocols being failed here. As, of course, the United States has protocols that if its equipment is going to be overtaken, stolen by enemy forces, that they will blow it up. That protocol was not followed six years ago. That protocol was not followed today. As we see today, 700 U.S. military vehicles and artillery being surrendered to the Taliban. Same thing happened in Iraq six years ago. As of course, the war on terror is meant to be continual. It is a cycle. The United States arms and feeds its enemies that later it says it has to fight. Enemies that wouldn't exist if it wasn't for the U.S. military industrial complex and intelligence agencies directly financing them, arming them, equipping them, and making them an enemy when they previously weren't. The United States military under the Biden administration is also ratcheting up attacks in Iraq and Iran as there are more large explosions that target Iranian forces and Iraqi militants that are mainly the forces that have been fighting ISIS. Yes, Iran, along with Iraqi militants, have been the main forces fighting ISIS. The United States is now bombing Iranian and Iraqi forces, the same ones that were able to take out ISIS. Do you see a trend here? Do you see what's happening here? As, of course, the military-industrial complex gets to do whatever they want. Screw you over, hurt you, rob you, steal from you, arm your enemies. And what are they going to be facing as consequences? More no-bid blind contracts to the tune of billions of dollars, trillions, actually, especially when you add in all the secret budgets that no one even knows about as the Air Force just announced a new $2 billion contract with Raytheon to develop nuclear cruise missiles. And as more and more of your tax dollars go towards these conundrums, towards these blunders, towards these supposed accidents that always continue to arm your enemies that want to hurt you, your money is being absolutely devalued and destroyed as we're getting the latest information of astronomical food cost rises that are impacting grocery stores and supermarkets, which has many supermarkets literally stockpiling a lot of their inventory in order to save money. Things are not looking good, especially financially in this country, and one of the reasons that is is because of the military-industrial complex. And unless this huge unaccountable cancerous tumor is actually dealt with it will continue sucking off the life off of the free american spirit that only truly lives in representation freaking hell it's absolutely absurd it's sickening knowing that that your hard-earned money is literally going towards ISIS and the Taliban. That's, that's literally where your money's going when the federal government takes it away from you and does these horrible, unspeakable things. I think that's absolute bullcrap. And if you believe that as well, share it with your friends and family members. Double click the link. It's more important and imperative than ever that you do so. And because you do, I'm still here. This is why I love you guys. Stay tuned for more, especially on LukeUncensored.com.